I was at the Harrisburg Ham Fest this past weekend, and in addition to getting a few things for myself, I also went there on a mission to find something that one of my friends could use for his steampunk desk lamp project. He already has a couple of nice brass um, lamp fixtures, and he wanted me to find some kind of base for it, and so I think I found the perfect little copper-clad steel box um, that he could use for that. He'd have to put it on a larger piece of wood too so it has extra stability when he's got these big long lamp fixtures sticking up out of it. But anyway, what it is, is the RL Drake Company TV1000 LP Low Pass Filter. I already have the screws taken out. Let's pop it open and I've already seen the inside of it before because I made a, a video of this already but the audio was complete crap, so I just had to delete those videos and remake it. And so here it is. We got all these nice coils here. I'm not sure if they're silver plated or not. I don't see any kind of oxidation on them, but they might be silver plated. And also there's these brass washers down here. That's actually a plate of a capacitor. That's one one plate of the capacitor and then the whole ground chassis here, that's the other plate. And the dielectric is this plastic disc in here. I assume it's polypropylene. And then going through here you can see that there's another disc here, another disc, and also on the other side we got some brass disc forming capacitance to ground. But the Dielectric in those cases, that's um, several layers of mica. There maybe you can see the natural scratches and imperfections in the mica layers versus the complete flawlessness of these polypropylene. So here's the schematic. It's a completely symmetrical circuit. Got all these inductors and all these capacitors and I'm not sure if the individual chambers actually play a role in how this thing operates. I don't know if they're just there for a very good ground connection between these parallel plate capacitors or if they do serve a higher function. So I drew a different schematic showing the individual chambers and every single capacitance to ground as it exists in its physical form right here. And one last thing I'm going to do here is to measure the total capacitance. So let me hook up my Fluke 85 with a very recently repaired LCD. Put it on nanofarads and zero it out. And we're looking at about somewhere around 350 picofarads or so. Anyway, that's the total capacitance. One thing I just noticed is that this disc right here in the middle is a little bit larger than the other two discs and even a little bit bigger than the side discs as well. Certainly it's designed for some a little more capacitance here in the middle than what it has on the outside branches. So that's the inside of a 30 megahertz low pass filter. Now the guy building his steampunk lamp is going to have to rip out all this stuff inside but that's no problem. There's still lots of these things around. I did a quick Google search and it's not very rare by any means. What he might want to do is take these these brass washers, these brass capacitor plates and put them on the outside of it for some nice steampunkish embellishment and then maybe he'll have the the lamp posts coming up out of the top or maybe out of the side not sure whatever he does with it I'm sure it'll look good I paid five bucks for it he'll certainly pay me back thanks for watching